Hi guys, this is Mario from Dual Core Studio and today I will show you something interesting about Health UI. So let's import our heart image and I want to slice this image into three equal parts so each uh, heart will represent our player HP. Uh, we will do that in sprite editor so change sprite mode to multiple and go into sprite editor now my first sprite will be this three hearts and i will call this 3 hp now i can press ctrl d so i will duplicate this slice uh, lines and my second sprite will be this two hearts, so two HP. And again, Control D. And this is the last one, one HP. Great. Now let's change some other settings. Because we use pixel art, we need point no filter mode true color and we import all with 32 pixels per unit for this project next thing i need ui image for example i will set my source image sprite to this uh, 3 hp sprite i will set uh, uh, native size and scale it to 3 and 3. Great. Let's set position to the upper left corner. So in the game we expect something like this. So we want in the upper left corner, but watch what will happen if I press play. Suddenly, our hearts are not in the upper left corner. So, this is because our resolution is changed. So, this resolution is not the same with this resolution. But I want uh, my hearts to be in the upper left corner with every resolution. So, I need to change my anchor um, position. And if you see uh, these four triangles, that they are um, anchors for our image. And uh, this triangle, this right, uh, is linked to uh, this um, right vertex. And this left triangle anchor is linked to this uh, left vertex of our image and so on. And uh, distance between anchors and vertex uh, is always the same. So uh, distance be between them is always the same. That is important. So, uh, if we want sprites in the upper left corner, we want to set these anchors uh, to the uh, upper left corner also. So, let's go here and hold shift and alt and click this. This will set uh, our position and anchors to the upper left corner and now we can move our sprite and now distance between this corner to our sprites will be always the same so if we play a game so see sprites are right uh, where they need to be.
and if we change resolution, they stay there. But notice uh, that our size of our hearts is not changing. So maybe something on high resolution will be too small. So you want to change uh, size of these hearts also. So for that you go to canvas and in canvas scaler you will choose scale with screen size. So now if I press play and change resolution our hearts will also change size and that is what we want. Now let's rename our image to heart HP and create a script that I will call help UI. Let's open this. Since we are using UI, first we need to say using unityengine.ui. Then we will need the three things. First thing is public image heart. Next thing is public sprite array that I will call heart sprite. And last thing we need player script player. So we need uh, this player script because on this script uh, we have player stats class uh, that uh, contains our health. So we need that health. And because we need to use it in other script, we will say that our player stats are public. Great. Now let's go back to health UI. And at the start, I want to reference our player to game object that find object with tag player. So we to find object with tag player. And I want to get that player script. So I can use player stats. Great. Now let's make another function. Void uh, changing UI help. And here we will say if our health is greater than zero. So if our player that player states that health is greater than zero, then uh, we want to set um, sprite of my image to amount of uh, HP that I have. So heart that sprite, so sprite of our image and uh, that will be this image that we set up in the upper left corner. So that image sprite will be one of these sprites. So heart sprite and I want to use index and index will be our health so player that player stats that health but minus one so or y minus one 
So if you go back to Unity, go to our image and add this script. So as I said, we will use that image. So use that image. And this uh, will be our sprites. So we need three sprites. And these three sprites are these. So when we are at full HP, we use this, 2 HP and 1 HP. And see, index of our sprite, of our first sprite is 0, but uh, our HP is 1. So let's say if we have uh, 3 HP, I want to set my heart, my heart sprite to this 3 HP sprite and his index is 2 as you can see. So our health is 3 minus 1 and this is 2. So I want, I want that index and I want that sprite. Great. Now and else, so if our player stats health is not uh, greater than zero, then we want to disable our image. So heart that enabled equals to false. And also we can make sure that here Im image is enabled so in update function we will say if our player is not null so if we have a player in uh, our scene then we want to use this change UI health and else. So if we don't have player in this scene, then we need to find him. So we need to find him. Okay. Uh, now let's go back to Unity and see if this works. Here I have my player, arrow, and I will set arrow damage to 1. So, now if I press play, see, go to here, and this works. Let's uh, try with 2. So now, I should have 1 heart. It works. Great. And if we set this to 4 and our max HP is 3, bam. And now we want to die. And this uh, will be done in the next tutorial. Uh, I will show you uh, how to respawn your player and some other things. If you like this uh, video, please uh, like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.